the nice lot party fringe here in North of all we used to go down an awful lot to Sheffield when I was very Sheffield was a gathering place. When the doctor died in Sheffield in the big house of Sheffield, they had well that was my kind of my best pals down there, the Don Gregor Brooker, that was the Doctor Brooker's boy. <laughs> I suppose we were all up short of terrorways in that day. It's yeah. a lovely big house. The side next to the, the wash side, that was where the surgery was downstairs. That's when I mean, they were far coming from all over the hill to the surgery. They used to have surgery at night time. And then they had a, the doctor broke her a mate. She was, uh, no, let's see if I can mind the name now. Minnie, Minnie Williamson. She made in Dester and Salopa. The dad used to keep the old forging up on the, what they called the night green there. Where the bound for it, Robert Sinclair had a pretty far in his will and then they were a big gold sexually and then again she was called the Kitty. We used to play on her when they were pretty big old pot. I think whether they whether they had it for a flat boat or something, I didn't think when when the Earl was coming in, I didn't think I can't tell the history of it. So she was a big big old sexually and she lay up there in the night green. Robert would probably be able to tell you about yeah. that. Okay. They only kept her there in the winter time. But she was always in the nose, just alongside the smithy nose. There were twice pretty boats there. My uncle had a pretty flower ring. Peter Walker's boat was there, and my father's boat, and then Marshall's dad's boat was hauled up. He like to tell you about the bottom. Mother boat, he had it hauled up there in the nose there. I was in there, maybe not every day, but there weren't many days I wasn't down there. Yeah, I had a, a happy time down there, that was good. That's what, the Helen, yeah. yeah. Old Alex, Fowlery. She was, she was a good enough pretty boat, she was, as long as she was sensible with it. She was kind of, the old fuck would say, kind of kettly way of show. You had to watch what you were doing with it. We all used to put a bit of ballast in it, just to steady her up a bit. Then she was all right. No, it was good. Well, that was my uncle. He had, had it pretty far. I think that what was actually Johnny Smith of the parks at the back of his boat. And we decided we were going to have to rest. And his boat was far, but he had the right to ride it for racing. We didn't have a rider or anything, we just had an oar or the stern. And we went to have a race across the, the Ravenskill and back. Well, they were bought, James Barkley had a boat, the lobster boat, the crest, after the, to get the St. Pierre, we go around her and back to Sheffield again. They were Donald and Greta Manson's man, like Andy Manson, for eight, and me, and Grindy and Gregor was in his boat. The Grindy boat was rugged up, they had a right Right sail and mast, a lot better than what we were all was, so the bit was. We had a good fun, and then we had a presentation. We had Roger Smith was made this cup for us with the war. Washing up like we'd bent them all so and put them fancy handles on them, bent them up, and then I can't remember how much money we got, I'll say 10 shillings or something. Doctor, no, it's Marriott. Presented old Grindy with a kill, grip a kill hat for the first prize. <laughs> <laughs> then we get up the nose and then we had, we decided we won't have a concert after it. We all threw it up there and Grindy was he got pretty good with the fiddle, he could turn a good tune on that fiddle and then we sang and I played the most organ. Like he had lemonade and Swedish. I think it was, I seem to think it might have been Dan Jones we got. Then old Grindy got a great big kill hat. <laughs> <laughs> then we get up to the nose and had a concert after that. Then I was always getting Jimmy on when I was a bit older. It was great to finish with Jimmy. He was learning me how to drive the old tractor. And he'd give him a hand to his bits and his working with the hay. His fence and stuff like that. It was always plenty to do. Everything was neat and tidy. 
had a great big, well, the end of the old, what Jimmy had this barn and buyer, <coughs> they were a big laugh, sail laugh. Well, you, know, you can still see the doors up, up, up there. The, well, the roof, is, the roof of the ceiling is all gone, you don't know, but we used to stow all the hay, used to reverse in with the tractor and put it up. And, Put it up in the raft in the barn. But get a great piece in, but to get it way in as far as Jackie and Jones, who's the, the raft, it was all lined out. So and next to the next. That was old Mary, Mary Spence, yeah. Just a wine drum, push, very, very, very basic. I think she maybe had a box bed in it, I think. It was awful dark, just a wine pretty window in it. And she had this parrot, Polly, green parrot. He would squawk and speck away. <laughs> she back to the parrot. Yeah. I think she was an aunt to Mavis. The back door, the back parts. <coughs> they used to use that back parts for a wedding room when you're going in to see. And then sometimes they would up, open up the kitchen. You have chairs set out there, left there towards the fuck there. When the surgery was on, I could do it, sit in the kitchen. And then the surgery, yeah, yeah, it was on the right hand side. If you're going in for, going in for the kitchen. And then on the left hand side was the sitting room. Then there were three bedrooms upstairs and then the, the bathroom was half at the back. And then the, the room at the back was... Well, it's just a store, but Dr. Booker had that for developing all his father's thing. He did look it up pretty good. It was all neat and tidy. Mm -hmm. gang hut was, well, it was actually a garden shade that Dr. Booker had, but we claimed it as a gang hut. <laughs> it supplied both the houses with Jimmy Nisbet's and the doctor's house we power it. Was, they wouldn't have used all that money, who's in the north of what hiding? Generators then, they would probably would first, who's in the north of what to pay a generator? Mr. Eder, who's all hiding? Either tally lamps or gas lights. The Brun boys used to, that was the boys they had the garage in Medjell, used to come around every year and service the, the generator, check out all the wiring and see if everything was. All right, for the winter side then. The hall, the pretty civil hall, yeah. It used to be serving, it used to be a service in there. Best Sunday. I used to get different managers coming to preach there. And then we had the Sunday school, we had old Jean Robertson for Grassville, she was for Sunday school teacher. So I did it, had to be something to do with the station. Dr. Peterson had. The building joined on to it, that's where his garage was for his car, his Land Rover. And then Jimmy Nisbet had the garage, well, it's just a steed, you know, it's across the right of the giant spit cray there. Just, yeah, 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 the two garages. It's a funny thing that, well, the Bournemouth is there, that, that Going into the valley there, there, there absolutely no, there used to be pretty nanty eels underneath the signs there. No, they're not wine, no. Not wine. I'm looking several times got going along the banks there. I used to go down there and <laughs> put them in a chair and keep them for a couple of days. Used to, there used to be nearly every sign you'd love to be maybe three or four underneath the signs, underneath the, the flat signs at the bottom of the there. No, they're not. That That's the tongue, yeah. <laughs> The burden actually did, I think it was the country at all to that. He used to go the other way, by the east side of the Tungi. He goes to the opposite side now. They widen them out and that was that. He used to grow in with the southeast gales and big up we war. And so he put it to the other side of the Tungi and rerouted the burden of it. <laughs> so he doesn't grow in so bad now. Class shop, 
they get there still there, you know, where the path goes along the side of the bank's brew, along the right to the shop. It must have been very, very light so. I can mind the shop. Well, no. It's a shop, but like the building was not only flattened, probably the 80s, I would say. It was, it was, there was still bits and pieces in the in the building, like in a weird pity, like there was a shop in the past office. And I think it, the women used to go there and mark in the shop. They used in well, no, actually in the shop, but but one of the buildings in there. They used to have a, a guiding in there and mark in the shop for the selling their hosiery. They were very well to do, the clerks. They came from Hollygath originally, yeah. but the nurse was fairly altered to what it was when I was pretty. It just didn't, it didn't away it. But we never ever used to keep the boats there in the winter time. Most of them would take them out to the, on the night green. We fed the side when they were pretty. He used to go there every Christmas morning and play football on the night green. Yeah. Main, oh, yeah, yeah. There was a lot of bearings and all of them. That's not an awful great. That's most, unless it was a lock dryer then. It was all, it's always awful wheat down there. That's where they used to play the ball. That's where the bonfire is, no? Yeah. yeah. When the four Jackie and John, that's Mavis, Mum and Dad, when they, before they moved into the big house, that, that pretty house that they were, my goodness, that was a lovely cosy house. They had a pretty Rayborn. It was just a single room and a bedroom and a box room. And that was a absolutely warm as thirst in a winter's night. It wasn't a big, it wasn't a big room, but it was lovely and cosy. Then there was just a pretty wooden pelling and a bit of a kind cut to plant. You can still see that yet, where the, where the steed, where the porch was. It was just a different temp there when you could do the civil. It was lovely and warm down there when you came up to Tavar Hill, it was blowing again. <laughs> well, that's just. Then Dr. Broker had a great big yard. He had a lovely yard of vegetables and grew, grew awful well down there. It was lovely. It was fish in the south. It was lovely and sheltered because it got the brack for the, like the southwest for the big horse and then. Jimmy and Maggie's house was alongside it, so it got completely sheltered. So it was that the dungeon of moors, fine sandy moor as well. Oh, they were well in Cam Green, but rather than nearly got that, they were doing all the rig. They were going up to Cam Bride down the left hand side. And then they were well on the right hand side going up to Cam Bride for. Old Robert had a barn and buyer there, a pretty well there, for water in the kai. And then there were the, the Clark's well, he's just in the bank's brew, I still had to show you that. And then the main well was up just for Lily and all stays, the Mugger well. That's God knows well, that's all growing in. That was the main well. Everybody used to carry the freight to water for days when it was a awful dry summer. That well never, never, ever, ever dried up. And so the other side of the ride, that was a lovely, clean well, a lovely. That's all gone now. And then we're well, it's just out here. I didn't mind it's the only one that's still to the fore, I was thinking not at all. And then the news, well, they had the water laid in, there was a spring halfway up the King's Ride on the right hand side. There was a pipe that get across the, the ride, and then there was, you'll see the reservoir on the left hand side, which was the concrete box. The lid was going half over. That was the reservoir for feeding the water supply to the news. And then they, they were one of the lucky horses that had the lucky ones that. There weren't many horses and had the water supply in. Me yeah. yeah. Robina Stewart, or better known as Baby, and Grindy. Grindy. Grindy, he came for here 
Det har du varit. Ja. Men just på det där platsen säger det ju inte bara nej, men det speciellt Christmas och New Year. Det platsen är just absolut fuck just kom vi åt att but New Year's morning och Christmas morning det platsen är just fulla kongregationen. Ja. Det gick inte med för fyra sex klockan på morgonen. Ja. Och så har man lite av just en band som gick gejsen och det förhållar man sig. Och den och så har man sig just att gå och det är nu i sig. Ja, det ska jag se väl. Ja, där man är fin för det gejsen. Det startar det gatten, ja. Just det gick det Jimmy och Beiners. Well, when we were very like, then we get down to the park hall to watch the Spanish. We never get to the league, no way for me to hear it, Thompson. We never get there, and then we get to Roberts, and then your horse, the top of the ride, Nelly and Roberts, and then we get to Hederley. Dann dann den Malborn, dann der Hose Schreiwil. Dann reit ab der Reit. Well, der Kohl. Schwarz geht er auf der Tunche. All on fat. We finished up at Old Chine Greisfeld. We never, I was, I didn't go to Kewig, that was for my time. We go to Heftiget and that was the old kitty morning, Reishi and then Go down to the park. The might be a beautiful snowy night. There was proper boxing to the knees and snow walking down through the park down to change. I had a accordion with me. Neither that Irish mom should play as well. She had a accordion. Dragging this accordion <laughs> through, through the snow fans. Dr. Brooker had a shield. They had a team shield. They used to talk with every morning. Ik ging zwemmen rond de Pointe Seville Speer. En vaak ben ik hem te zeggen in dat ze dat uit Tumbari naar hem bij elkaar. Je komt komen lopen op de beach en kruis de rijden in het huis. 